You guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, let's go run, run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay guys, welcome to Bootstrap Island. We are playing in the new peaceful mode and we have, looks like we've spawned um, over here on one of the little small islands. There's the shipwreck. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> now, like I said, this is supposedly, uh, supposedly peaceful mode. I'm really curious to find out and I'm actually not even seeing any hunger. So I'm wondering if we even have to worry about eating and drinking and stuff. Which I do, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of curious. I would think it would be nice if, I would have thought we could have at least still got to do um, eating. Now, we've got a little bit of stick drift, by the way. I, I've never tried to... <laughs> this is probably why. I've, I was like, can you actually... Okay, I guess we're just going to have to find a rock. Hey. Nice. And I do have my holster, looks like. All right, and we got this. Any other loose balls in here? We do, so far we get our weapons. But like I said, I'm not seeing a hunger. You know, one thing I am curious is what happens at night then? Do you have to build a fire? Or can you just hang out in the dark? All right, we're going to head to the main island here. Wait, do I have unlimited sprint then if I don't have hunger? What the heck? I didn't pull this out. Oh shit. Oh God. Well, my gun's wet. That's the only bad thing about the hitting those triggers. All right. Uh, we definitely got some crates nearby already. Nice. Now, can you actually hit him with, like, can you throw the rock at him? I <laughs> just, oh, maybe not. I don't know. I just, I know. I always wonder if you could just throw it, like, s smack him with it. You, you probably could smack him with it, right? Just like that. No, we don't want to waste the crab. Hey, look at me. All right. I just don't know if you, like, throw the rock. All right. And another gun. But what's nice about having what's nice about having another gun, it just makes it fun. Okay. We are getting low in the sun. So I have an idea. Let's um let's not build the fire. Actually, hold on. Maybe 
we what we do is we build an emergency fire. I don't know. Technically, that should last us. Right here. This should last us through the night. I have less apprehension. With the sun going down. But I still don't know what to expect. In this game, I've been so programmed to... Now, there was some fish over here. I wanted to see something a little too deep. Can you shoot a fish? No, maybe not. Now, I heard that you can use that. I heard you can use that to, to light tinder. We might try that. Yeah, it's such a gorgeous game. It really is. Let's watch the sunset. It's supposed to be peaceful mode. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So gorgeous. Wow. So pretty. And I'm still holding this other gun. All right, so let's, first of all, let's find out in peaceful mode, do you have to have a fire? It is absolutely pitch dark. It is like, I'm waiting for this moon to come out. It is so pitch dark. Nomad, oh, here we go. Moon's coming out. I hear footsteps. That's what's really creepy. Not moving. There we go. Went ahead and started a fire because it looks like we don't have to have a fire. So that's pretty cool. Cause I thought, well, what if what if there was no enemies but the night still consumed you? Like that was one thing they wanted you to at least do was have a fire. I thought that might be a rule. Well, now we know. <laughs> cool. Love it. I think the only bad thing about peaceful mode is that, to be honest with you, I don't think there's going to be a lot to explore. Here we go. Look at this. Nice. Yeah, because I think with peaceful mode, what's going to happen is you're going to... um. There's really not much to do because I don't think they've added a lot to the game to explore. I think eventually they're going to add, you know, ruins or something or, or like I said, I think there'll be more things in the future. But right now. Nice. Love it. Looks so good in VR, guys. Looks so good in VR. Wow. So let's head on down the beach. And let's go look at some other crates. See. I don't know if they... I did unlock the musket and everything. But I don't know on this game... If you had a game and then you started peaceful mode, you st it, it will only allow you to have the pistols. All right, I see a chest over there. I was just looking. I was just kind of looking around. Sometimes you get a chest kind of hiding. I mean, in all, all honesty, yeah, it would suck if you're on this uh, island and even without predators. There you go. We got us a torch now. Um, let's. Okay, another torch. Nice. I 
Well, let's juggle. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no juggling. Okay. No juggling. I don't know. I mean, peaceful mode is going to be kind of lame in a way. I think, I think for me personally, what peaceful mode is for me is, well, one, I would love to have the hunger meters. Because I think it'd be, it'd be fun if, if you didn't have enemies, you should at least fight water and thirst. Like hunger, water and thirst. Uh, you should at least fight hunger, uh, in my opinion. You know what I mean? You still gotta, you still should have to like survive on a minimal level, even if there's no enemies. Like, I think that would be a little bit better in my opinion. And another torch. And jewels. Can you imagine this whole time we had like, uh, can you imagine like we did some, we could do like a laser, like a magnifying glass laser trick with like the jewels. <laughs> Can you imagine? I guess I'm just trying to explore a little bit. For peaceful mode, what I think would be good is maybe we should try and get to the top of the mountain for peaceful mode. Right? Because we got to have some kind of objective, right? Because obviously you don't even have to stay alive. Which, that's why I think the, the developers, I hope maybe they watch these videos, and I hope other people that play peaceful mode, I hope that they say the same thing. It, I mean, it would be different, like I said, it would be different if, if they had lots of things to explore on the island. But right now, it's just, there's really nothing with the island. I've already explored the entire island, technically. Okay, got another gun. It's getting kind of dark. Ah, that's probably gonna get wet. <laughs> another torch. Man, it's so beautiful. I mean, look at this. Oh, so nice. Look at this. Peaceful mode. <laughs> Might even be the thumbnail. I don't know. I don't even know. It just looks so pretty. So gorgeous. <laughs> hey, look at me. I got shadow puppets. Hi. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's stupid. That's stupid. Probably should edit that out. All right, so it's almost dark. Man, it looks so good. The sunsets are so pretty. All right, so how? Oh, nice. First try. First try. Really can't see shit, but we are night exploring. We just like go around and set fires to shit. Just like going through. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to come up with things to do, guys. I'm trying to experiment a little here.
I don't think this would have worked back in the days when there was bad guys. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Are we getting daytime again? Oh, nice. Can we set the jungle on fire? I've never really tried. No. Dang. It looks a lot closer. Oh god, here we go. Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, so cool. So cool. You can just hear the ash particles raining down. It's pretty cool. Love it. Love it. Comes the sun. Oh, so that's not quite a dead end down there, but I guess you can go up this way. There's, I remember there is, a, it is like, it does dead end. I think what you have to do is you have to go down and then come up here. It's been a while, but we're trying to get to the, to the mountain we can climb. That's kind of my goal right now is I'm trying to at least, I think for us today is, you know, the peaceful mode. My torch is running out. Okay. Hey, shut up. Fucking bird. Fucking bird kind of scared me, actually, a little bit. All right, now, I think there's somewhere... If I'm not mistaken, I think there's somewhere to cross. Yes. This is a cross point. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Go, go, go. Nice. See, and I think when they flesh out this island, that's when there's going to be more stuff to do on, on, like, say, peaceful mode. But I really think, again, I, saw, I was getting onto this earlier, but the, if the devs are watching or more people talk about it, they need to do the hunger or maybe make it an option. Peaceful mode with survival, like survival peaceful mode, or, you know, unlimited peaceful mode or something. I mean, but look at this. See, there's human skulls. I mean, clearly some type of maybe cannibalism, ritual, something is going on here. And so they, they put one thing in here, but there's nowhere in the island where there's anything else about that yet. So what I think is really cool is when they start developing more things in the game, that's when um, peaceful mode will be fun. But in the meantime, you should at least make it to where you still have to drink and eat. Because that would be cool. Um, that's the mountain we got to climb. So maybe I need to head that way. I've been kind of like, I think I've been going the wrong way, to be honest with you. <laughs> See, and I know like some of these little caves are obviously either story progression stuff. Gotta get to that. Nope. See? Damn it. It's easy to grab the gun. See, look at this. I mean, that's not man-made, but it was almost starting to look like man-made or something. I was like, I was like, is this? It's like, hmm. Okay, I see the tall mountain this way. There's another cave. It's starting to get dark. We might have to start looking for just a place to chill by. Oh, there we go. Some more. Yeah, a little, bit of, a little bit of fresh water. Might as well. Yeah, see, we're heading there. So we gotta go find a campsite real quick. Alright. So, here's like a little campsite. And because my gun's loaded, I am gonna like... 
Well. Shit. Do you see Tinder? Is that Tinder? Yes, that's Tinder. Nice. We get this little fire going. We're just doing a little camping now. Now that we don't have to stress about vampire bats or freaking giant lizards or anything, right? We can just kind of chill, do a little camping. Look for some, get some wood here. I think too it'd be really cool if they get to where they add um, sleeping. I just, I just, I think there's so much potential with this game. That's what I love about it, is the premises of it. And, and what I like is that it's not modern technology out there, so you don't have like the thought of a satellite rescue or some kind of um, airplane, you know, things like that. I mean, we're we're back in the day here, you know. So, and most likely, most ships that try to get to this island, they're probably going to get shipwrecked. But there, I think there's a lot of potential for, like, expansion. You know, there's probably more parts of this island, unless, they, unless they're going to have a countdown with the volcano. Um, can you imagine a mode where it's, like, uh, maybe a mode where you only have, like, I don't know, 120 days on the island, you know what I mean? And like each day that goes by, you know, the volcano gets worse and worse or just, it just explodes every day. And then we get to like day 120 and it starts like erupting. And then we start having, maybe we start having like lava flows through certain areas and stuff. I don't know, there's just a lot of cool things that I think that would, a lot of awesome potential. Oh, here we go. I hear it rumbling. Pixelated today. It just burped out a Minecraft explosion. <laughs> Pixelated. That's boring. Boo. See, they they've got different little bio areas, right? We have this sort of swampy, muddy area, and I think that could be really cool. The beach is right over there. So we made this kind of big whatever, but there's the, the beach over here, but it, like it's somewhere over here. There's like a vine that, that can kind of start your journey. I just can't remember if it's closer to the beach or closer to there. I can't remember. Shoot, All right, jump down. Oh, I see. Okay, I see rope. Here we go. This could be the start of the journey. All right, we got to get to the top. All right. Here we go. Speed run. Just kidding. Oh, God. I just smacked my hands together in real life. Oh, Jesus. I didn't get a good grasp. That's... Oh. Not always good, seeing that this was the first vine. All right, here we go. Another vine. Let's take one at a time. You gotta stay focused because you can easily drop. I'm just gonna make sure the ground's under you there. Ooh, we got a double vine. Look at this. Oh. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. You like this game? Uh, you guys want to see some other experiments? I don't, I mean, unfortunately, there's not a lot more experiments to do right now, I don't think. Again, it's all going to be on the developers on where they take this game. All right, still a long ways to go. Nice. Just taking a mire at the view here. And you can see right there is that one little canyon. Right there. But we went around. And then I ended up going pretty deep in there. And backtracking all the way back. I really meant, in all honesty, I just meant to like... I just wanted to come up here. Because I, 
So yeah, that was my, my mistake. And I guess you could probably go up there. I think there's another way you can climb. Clearly they're not giving us a knife or a musket or a bottle of water. Uh, I mean, it looks like we're getting toward the top pretty quick. If you guys haven't um, seen the top of the um, the um, of the mountain yet, stick around as we're here. We go. We're headed there soon. Um, there is something that happens when you get up there. I don't know if it'll happen right now. I don't know. It's it's in peaceful mode, so I don't know what happens when you get to the top. You just have to keep working it. Ugh. You just don't want to rush it sometimes right there. I mean, unless you're like one of those speedrun people. Then you can rush it, I guess. So cool. I love the views, right? And look, here's the Sulphur Springs. And they, they have so much potential to do other things in here. I don't know. I mean, they have a lot they can do. And I'm excited. I really am. But peaceful mode needs to be... Hunger and water still though. You should still have to survive. You should be able to turn off hunger and thirst if you want. But I still think that would to me would be would be great. Because I'd love be, I'd love to do this and still have to try to eat. Okay. Alright, so there's this there. You know what? We Alright guys, one second. Why did I eat the coconut? Because. <laughs> Just because. Okay, still got my gun. Although, if I realized I didn't have my gun anymore, I guess it wouldn't matter. I don't think I'm going to be going back for it. In uh, Houston, I have a slight problem... It is getting dark, and I'd really... Uh, let's try to see if we can get up this other part here. I don't know. It's hard to see. I wouldn't do this if there was creatures. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, I see a rope. But... I can't... I can't see. Guys, we might be stuck here for the night. Because I cannot see. And I don't see any wood. Yeah, I don't see anything to make a fire. But while we're here, um, look, if this volcano, I don't know if it's an asset, but it would really be cool if, like, areas like this could eventually, where you could make your way up to areas. I, I don't know. I think it's super cool, though. Hey, look, the ship's over there. That's really cool looking. I just don't want to fall off I'm trying to look at it. <laughs> but if you look around, I mean, you can look out in the waters. There's like no other islands around in, in that direction anyways. Who knows? Maybe there's uh, some other crazy island. Oh, God, I can't move. All right, we're just going to have to like stand here. <sighs> All right, that was a good sleep on the ground there, the rock. And look at this. We we normally get to see the sun set, but this is the first time. Look at this. We're really getting to see a sunrise. Really, this is about the closest to the horizon we're going to be able to see. Nice. Look at that. Oh yes. So cool. God, it looks so good in VR, guys. I really I hope you guys get a chance to play this in VR. Oh my god, it looks so good. Nice. Alright. Now that we had a good night's rest, let's uh let's try to finish our 
quest to get to the top of the mountain here. Yeah, I would say I don't think I could climb this mountain in two days total like this if I was playing with creatures. Honestly, I think... I think I would have to... Um, you know, obviously, you'd have to stop a little earlier to start making a little fire and make sure you survive and all that good stuff. But I like that they really make you earn this. I do. And see, and there's this here. Now, I, I, is this the last ledge? This might be the last one, guys. This could be it. This could be our final push. Big old vine. This one's a fat guy. Thank God for these trees and their um, rope-like vines, huh? And there we go, guys. Woo! We did it like a Rocky. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Oh. Give us the sign. There it is. Yes. We have achieved greatness. We have achieved greatness. Look at this. So cool. And that's what it is, guys. That's what happens when you ascend this mountain. And that's it for... Um, and that's it, guys. That's what happens when you do peaceful mode. There is nothing else to achieve. <laughs> what is that? Hold on. So I'm pretty sure, obviously, like, that's this ridge all of that to there none of this is usable like that not you know what i mean like that's all just um fake but there's so much potential because if they wanted to add like do dlcs in the future they could do this whole expanded part of the island here this peninsula part i mean there's you know even up here that those mountains are so much potential but guys, there's one last thing to do, and that is to run and jump. You guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, let's go run, run. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I, hit, oh, I bounced off the rock. Oh, that hurt my knees. Oh, oh, I hit my knees. Hit my knees. Oh. oh. Hey. Hey, I'm alive! Thank you. Thank you, Volcano. Oh, I even bounced off the, the mountain a few times. Wow. That was cool. So, peaceful mode. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so, so much. Bye.